Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Panerd Android Custom ROM, which is based on Android 13 for our Nothing Phone 1. So, without wasting more time, let's start. And uh, yeah, let's start now. So, guys, this is AOSPA or Paranoid Android, which is the first custom ROM released for our Nothing Phone 1 with an official status. So, let's check it out. First, we will go into the settings app about phone, and as you can see, Paranoid Android version uh, Topaz Alpha 2. This is the latest Alpha 2 build, which has some minor fixes too. So, yep, and it's running on the Android version 13. So we have to point this clock at 13 and it will show you that Easter egg. Oops, sorry. Yeah. And can just uh, long press anywhere to change the uh, background. And I don't know why this space is not filled. But yeah, that is the Easter egg here. Let's go back. And it also comes with the latest 5 October 22 security patch. So yeah, nice. So guys, this is the home screen. Pretty basic. We have a lot of wallpapers here. So let's go into wallpapers inside. Change wallpapers. And here we have nice and amazing KOSPA wallpapers that you can check them out. And like each and every wallpaper is really nice curated for the devices. It looks great on OLED and it looks ultra -layer realistically great on AMOLED devices screen. So yeah, you can set them up. And this ROM also comes up with G apps. So yeah, there are G apps pre-installed, so you don't have to install them separately. So yeah, bloatware is really like up to zero. Just some few Google apps are installed that you can also uninstall later if you really like to. And then this is the uh, the home launcher. Oops, sorry. And these are the launcher settings. As you can see, we got a lot of settings here. So I have to access Google Feed and all that stuff. And here we have icons, stuff, and we also have an option for developer options. Now, I have not changed anything. If you want, you can just change through it. Maybe some minor uh, tweaks are there inside, some animations and stuff. So, I'm not sure about that. Well, it comes with a, a different type of camera. I guess this is Snap Camera, the latest version, and it looks really nice also, the UI. But you cannot customize some, you know, customize the stuff. So yeah, you have to put live with the pretty pretty basic camera and you have to install a Google camera right away if you want to uh, get the full uh, exposure towards the camera. And you can also tweak it with some XML and other stuff. So yeah, then you will get your full resolution camera also. Then moving into settings, as you can see, the settings is pretty basic. There is nothing like, yeah, nothing, no customization at all. But here, if you go into settings, you'll see some customization. Yes. Now, if you go to the glyph interface, you only have this, uh, like it is partially working. You have the battery level and the charging dot. So it will uh, uh, go with the pulsing dot, the battery level, the pulse effect will show uh, at the bottom of uh the device at the back so and it looks nice but only that is working other than the glyph lights will not work so yeah if you want the glyph lights to work then stay on the nothing os only then we have quickly open camera some normal gestures the system gestures and add more lift to check phone like these are the pretty basic gestures that are present in the uh pixel and other uh roms too screen of gestures we have single tap to pulse to ambient which is also a nice tab like it was just, just show you the AOD uh, for a quiet time, which is the ambient display also. Now, guys, this is totally stable, but there are some minor issues. So if you uh, face them, you can report it in the Telegram app or sorry, in the Telegram group or the XTA uh, forum too. I will leave both the uh, links in the description. So make sure you check them out. And yeah, main problem in this one for I what I found out is the cliff lights, which will be fixed later as promised. And also the uh, I mean, there is a like minor issue. It happens only sometimes like like right now shooting this video it did not happen even for one time like that issue is the display flickers and maybe some graphical error comes up the display has some i don't know some unidentified graphical like it uh, throws up on our tv the uh, the graphical error something like that uh yeah something like that just it just appears on the phone so yeah there's no fix for it right now you just have to turn off the display and turn it on and it is going to be an easy fix right now. Also, as you can see, guys, uh, I just want to show you one thing I found nice in uh, the always on display. Uh, it's on Android 13, so 
as you can see the animation which is really smooth and nice this is the best thing and this is the best thing i love about android 13 so yeah i have stayed on the paranoid android rom for quite a while and loving it the performance is also really nice on this the smoothness is really nice compared to nothing os like nothing os is just in a good beta phase and yeah i hope the nothing OS gets like really clear and smooth and running totally at the 120 hertz uh whatever the speed they said so yep just hoping they update it quickly and fix all that stuff so yep that's it uh nothing much to say about the panel and it's smooth you can use it as your daily driver but with some minor bugs which might get fixed soon or later in the upcoming update so yeah you just have to be patient or else just stay on the nothing with if you like uh the glyph lights but yeah i don't use it much so yeah here i am so now let's move to the installation which is uh, like an easy part but you need to have an unlock bootloader now if you don't you can follow this i button here then you go through the video and you will get an information about how to unlock the bootloader and also root it using magisk so let's move towards the uh installation part and for that you need a pc you cannot just go installing it with tbrp which also needs a pc so yeah let's move towards the pc part here now i will just move towards the computer part so guys on your computer or laptop you have to open cmd in the folder where platform tools are located and you have to move to that folder uh in the command prompt so then you have to connect your phone with the usb cable so i did and make sure you have usb debugging uh, turned on in developer options then you have to reboot your device into bootloader so adb reboot bootloader your device will respond and it will boot into the bootloader mode Uh, so guys sorry to cut through i had to format my device so i just formatted it and i had to show you that one thing like when you first time install paranoid android you have a pop-up on your phone not a pop-up you will get that uh, selection thing and it will say to format your user data and it will wipe everything and you have to click click yes the first time only you install paranoid so i hope it gets up on my screen here uh, then i can show you but if you get that pop-up you have to click on yes and then only reboot the device so now we will uh, uh, input fast put update and you have to copy the zip name so i'm doing the same copying the zip name and download the image uh, dot zip version uh, not the only zip version the uh, you have to uh, download the file which has uh, image dot zip at the end and now it will uh, start the process of flashing now guys after this it will uh, say rebooting into fast boot waiting for any device and your device will reboot so don't do anything here it is going to follow the uh, instructions carefully on its own just wait for it to uh, do anything i'll show you now it has booted into a uh, fast boot this is fast boot d and this is aospa fast boot so yeah just let it do is its work and you can see the progress here I will skip the progress and let will uh, will let you know what happens to the device. So, guys, as you can see, the process is done, and my device has rebooted directly. As you can see, this is the boot animation, and it will boot soon into Paranoid Android ROM. But if you get a pop-up asking you to format the data, you have to click on yes uh, because it is needed to, uh, first time you install Paranoid. And then with the updates, which you have to follow the same procedure, I will write everything in the description, so don't worry about that. Please read it fully uh so yep i will show you the uh screen where the setup screen and then we'll end the video and guys here we are successfully booted into paranet android and yes that is it how to install it and guys uh it freezes at the boot animation before beginning the setup for quite a few seconds so don't panic there but your phone is fine that is normal so that is it for the video if you guys like the video press the like button if not press the dislike button also subscribe down below the red button press it and subscribe for more videos on the nothing phone and my other devices too and keep supporting and if you have any doubts you can uh, go down below in the comment box and 
put your doubts there, queries there. And also if you have uh, suggestions about the custom ROM and you want to thank the developer or if you want to put any query about it, you can also put it down below in the comment section, any queries and also on the XDA forum. So it gets to the developer and also the other users. So yeah, that is it. I hope you guys like the video and oh, sorry. I think we have done this part. So yeah, goodbye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.